Woody's, proud sponsor of Supergarden. So you want to build a fence. There's a couple of key things you have to consider. The first thing you need to consider is the size of your fence. The bigger the fence, the bigger the post. I've gone for a six by six fence panel. I've gone for a heavy post. It's four inch by four inch and it's eight foot long. So two foot ends up in the ground. The next thing you need to consider is how long you want your fence to last. I've gone for pressure treated wood, which has a green hue, which will last a lot longer than your standard wood. The next step to consider is how long the area is. And depending on how long it is will depend how many panels you need. Another key to consider is keeping your fence straight and level. Best of luck to everybody and happy fencing. So I've set my post for the very end of my fence. This is where it's going to finish. It's perfectly plumb, it's level this way and it's level this way. So I know that that's true. I'm gonna walk the string line down to the end. This is my line now, true and straight. I like to hear the sound of music when I flick it. It's nice and taut. It's really important to get your level correct. If your level is off, your whole fence line is off. This is perfect now and I'm gonna carry on from here. When I'm halfway, what I like to do is tap it down with my foot or a stick. You can use whatever you wish. This helps to compact and get rid of the air as you go. The cement's now in the hole, it's all finished. I like to leave it nice and smooth, so I use a trowel, give it a trowel finish. Now I'm gonna measure my panel. I need to know how long this is to know for my next hole. This one is 180 centimeters or 1,800 millimeters. I also have to allow four inches for my post. So what I'll do next is I add on an extra 100, which brings me to 200. 200 centimeters is for my next hole. I've marked my hole here. I've already measured it, but I'm measuring a second time because you always measure twice, cut once. I've set these down to give me a level base for my panel. That gives me my bottom line. I like to put my panel in as I'm going. Reason being that structurally, it's a lot more sound. It also gives me the correct distance from one pole to another. It's now level. So what I'm gonna do is take my level down. I'm gonna screw this panel to the first post. So as you can see, I've screwed the top piece in first, then I screw the bottom piece in. Reason being that sometimes the panels can be slightly warped. So I allow for that by doing the top right, getting the top right first, then the bottom, then I can manipulate the middle as I wish. I've got my panel in, and now I've got my hole dug, my new post is going in. I now want my post to be the same height as the string. So what I'll do is, I'll put some concrete at the bottom of the hole, and I'll set the post in to give it a start for the structure. As you can see, I've left this post slightly high. What I want to do is hammer into the concrete to really give it a good solid structure. All done. And that's it, it's as simple as that. Woody's, proud sponsor of Supergarden. Mm.